We will continue in this module the functional classification of proteins. Seventh class of proteins according to their function is the respiratory proteins. Heme containing proteins are involved in the function of respiration. Respiration we have seen that hemoglobin is the main protein. Similarly, is myoglobin is present in the muscles and cytochromes is also a heme containing protein. Hemoglobin ka function as we know is that oxygen carry karti hai from the lungs to the tissue and carbon dioxide from the tissues to the lungs. Similarly, myoglobin is present in the muscles. This is also a heme containing protein. Cytochromes are also heme containing proteins or lekin ye electron transport chain mein present hote hain in the mitochondria and these are used in the formation or generation of ATP which is the source of energy in the human body. Eighth type of class is the digestive proteins. These proteins are digestive enzymes. Jo enzymes humne already defined kiya hai, wo proteins hain. So, these are the digestive enzymes. These are also proteins which, which digest our food materials such as carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and these types of proteins include amylase, pepsin, lipases and many others. Amylase as we know is as alpha amylase which is produced from the salivary glands in our mouth and it is also produced in the intestine by the pancreas which is a gland in the in the gastrointestinal tract or ye hamare pet ke andar ek pancreas ek gland hai jo amylase produce karta hai to amylase ka function kya hai ke ye glycogen aur starch ko break down karti hai into glucose aur maltose molecules Isitra pepsin is an other enzyme which is present in the gastric juice and with it is one of the three enzymes. The other two are chymotrypsin and trypsin which are also present in the gastric juice and these enzymes and pepsin also causes the, the formation or the breakdown of or the digestion of the food, not the formation but the digestion of the food and the breakdown of the protein molecules or peptides ko ye todti hai peptide bonds ko individual proteins formation kar deti hai isi tarah lipases are also enzymes digestive proteins hain ye bhi ye bhi pancreas se secrete hoti hain and these are used for the breakdown or digestion of lipids ninth is the toxin proteins these proteins are hydrolytic enzymes ke ye hydrolyzed catalytic enzymes hai. enzymes are also proteins these are founds in the venoms of poisonous snakes stings of bee, bees and insects and hydrolyze the components compounds forming the structure of cell membrane cell membrane ko jo structure hai wo hum dekhte hain ki wo bhi bana hota hai by lipid layer hoti hai jiske andar proteins bhi hain aur by lipid layer bhi hai so, ye hydrolysis karte hain ye enzymes aur ye proteins jo hain these are toxin proteins these are also enzymes aur ye usko hydrolyze karke cell membrane ki destruction cause kar deti hain the poisonous mushrooms have also such type of toxins which are also proteins next class is the storage proteins ye kya hai ki jo different jo molecules hain ya different material jo biomolecules molecules hain ya jo metal ions hain usko store karti hain aur ye store at itself nahi hote jitni bhi storage hai in molecules ki wo with the binding of the proteins hai these proteins store some specific elements or compounds with them this is because of the presence of many binding sites in them for particular elements for example ferritin stores iron and ceruloplasmin stores copper ye ferritin aur ceruloplasmin do iski jo examples hain iski hum ye kehte jo iron hai wo human body mein as iron store nahi ho sakta usko uski transport ke liye uski jo hai na storage ke liye koi na koi protein required hai to that protein is ferritin aur iske sath kyun bind ho jata hai iron ek to iski affinity hai secondly storage form mein ye hoti hai ki iske sath multiple sites available hoti hain jo isko jo hai na wo 
कन्वर्ट कर देती हैं इसको स्टोरेज फॉर्म में जो इसको इसके साथ बाइंड कर देती हैं इसी तरह सीरोलोप्लाजमिन इज एन ऑल्सो प्रोटीन विच काजेज बाइंडिंग ऑफ द कॉपर एंड स्टोरेज ऑफ द कॉपर इन ह्यूमन बॉडी